Hello, dear friends. This is Joel Humphreys. I'm glad that you tuned in, tuned in on me. And I want to share with you a few uh, words on a message, short 10-minute message that I have in, entitled, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God grant it in Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says over in the, uh, Romans number one, we're saved by the name of the Lord. The Bible says in Romans 10, in verse 13, it says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord, and that's Jesus Christ. So when you call on the name of the Lord Jesus, and you ask him to forgive you, you are forgiven. And ask him to come in your heart. He lives in your heart. And you're saved, and your name is written in heaven because you've called. On the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And when you believe in him and in that name, you're saved forever. The Bible says in John 1 and the first chapter, it says that he came into his own and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the children of God, even to those that believe on his name. And so when you believe on his name, you're saved and you become a child of God forever. You're saved from a devil's hell and you'll walk one day in heaven and you'll be with him forever and your loved ones. And we'll all be together and we'll be in a place where we'll never have to worry nor fear nor weep anymore. It's all over. We are now in the glory of God and we have a life that's filled with the joy and the peace and the power of our Lord. Oh, praise God, because we believe in that name. And then that name is important in regard to your prayers. Over in John, in the 14th chapter, Jesus said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, I will hear. Whatsoever you shall ask, I will hear, and I will do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Whatever you ask, the Lord said, if it, if it will please God the Father, it will please me, and I'll answer it. He said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. And so we need to pray always in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not enough to pray without using his name. Amen. We have to pray and ask God to do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we believe in him, we belong to him, we're part of him. And he's part of us. Amen. And then over in John, the 16th chapter, okay, we pray in the name of Jesus for peace. Jesus said, ask and my peace I will give to you. Not as the world gives, but I will give to you. But be not afraid. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And so in the world you have tribulation. And dear Christians, some of you right now may be going through some tribulation. We're going to have it. I've had it from time to time. You'll have it from time to time until we get home. But it's part of God's fellowship and relationship with his people. He's teaching us how to depend on him. How to look up and call on him and trust him, and pray, and seek his face, and this will find the way throughout every storm, and we'll come through because we're standing on the rock, the rock won't fall, it'll hold us, it's holding you right now, Christian, you're standing on the rock, and it will not fall, you're going to get through, don't give up, keep going, the Lord is with you, he loves you so much that you never know, praise God. And we know that's true. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Over in the book of, of uh, uh, Mark, in the, in the ninth chapter of Mark, he says here that it's important in our giving. Whatever we give to others, to help others. Uh, some of us can give some money. Some of you can give money. The Lord's blessed you with it. You ought to give to help people that are in need. And certainly, give to support your church, as the Bible teaches. And then there are some of you can just do a little something. You can give something. 
You can give of your love. You can give of your time. But here in Mark 9, it says, if you give a cup of cold water in my name to any of my people, disciples, you will not lose your reward. If you just give a cup of cold water in the name of Jesus to somebody that's thirsty, you will not lose your reward. He's saying there that whatever little things you can do, you can call somebody and encourage them over with a word of encouragement. You can pray for somebody that's needing prayer. You can do something that seems small, but God says it's big to me, and you will not lose your reward. And so it's important that we know this. The name of the Lord. God bless you. You know the name of the Lord. You know the truth. When you know the name of the Lord, you know the way out and the way in. When you know the way of the Lord, you know the way to heaven, and you're on your way. Praise God. The Bible says over in, in Philippians, in the second chapter, verse 9, as this, uh, the Lord Jesus humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And therefore God hath highly exalted him and given him a name above every name. Praise the Lord. He has a name above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. There is no name above that name. Every knee will bow one day. Every tongue will confess one day that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so trust that name. Trust him. Trust him. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the glories of my God and King. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. He does calms our fears. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Tis music to the sinner's ears. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I never shall forget that day. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When Jesus washed my sins away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. God bless you. May that name be blessed in your life. And I feel that it is in your life. God be with you. God loves you and I love you. Stay close to him. Pray. Ask the Lord to come in your life and your heart and just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. And I believe he rose again. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. Find your good church and worship God with his people. Amen. And if you're a Christian, oh, pray daily and say, praise God, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen, and God keep you close to you. What a, what a God we serve. He loves you so much, and I love you. God bless you. Amen.